hi everyone welcome back to the channel in today's video we are going to learn how we can leverage modern tab controls in sharepoint forms to create the tab form so two years back i did one video where i created the same uh, power app form i mean customize the sharepoint form with the power apps and created the tabs into the form to restructure it better but at that time because we were not having model controls so i use buttons to behave like a tab and created this entire uh, form in a tabular structure but right now because we have modern controls in place so we can leverage them directly to simplify the creation of tab process so let's have a look at that so i'll be using one of my sharepoint list this is the list financial details which is actually having uh, many columns over here and i wish to create a tabular structure and uh, structure this form better so that it can be filled easily for the end users and i would be leveraging the power apps so i would just go to my list and start customizing my power apps form customize forms and it will open the sharepoint form into power apps where i can start the customization so you can very well create the tabular forms in any of the app as well it is not just customize here sharepoint form would support that uh, you can create it with any of the data source with the data words as well it's just like uh, the mechanism would be simple but i'm just showing you for the sake of like uh, it would be better if you can look at a sharepoint form in a tabular structure so power app open this form and i can just a bit zoom it out and over here i could see like all the uh, fields are there now i would start resizing it so that i can put a place where i can have my tabs and uh, before enabling the tab i have to actually go to the settings and i need to find out my modern controls if it's in preview then you should directly see it over here and you can enable that so that you can leverage you can start adding up the modern controls. so right now you can see i have two tabs over here classic and modern so these are the modern controls and out of this modern control, we are going to use this tab list control to make the tabs. I'm just going to pick this and place that at the top. And right now it's blank. So I need to bind something to it. And if you see like in items, I have to bind it either with some data source. So right now uh, it gave me that option to bind it to some data source. It could be list. It could be some dynamic values. But right now I can just type uh, bind it to a static table so that I can just have my uh, record inserted over there. So I'll just say record and in this I'll specify key as tab one and this would actually work as a data source for my tab. And in second tab, let's say tab two. I can keep on adding these key and value pairs. And add as tab three. So you can add multiple. So right now it has started showing up into the numeric something. So we can change that to text using this fields. Just need to add it the field, add a field. And from here, you just need to select that key. So key would start appearing over here in the tabs name. Right now, I could see like I started getting these tabs. So now the main part comes where I need to restructure what uh, value should be or what field should be part of tab 1, what should be part of tab 2 and tab 3. So for that, you can either like if your form is small, like just 15, 20 fields are there, you can do that. Uh, visible property of each and every control but if it's more than that like 40 50 controls then it's quite cumbersome so you have to actually uh, create the con containers where you can have these uh, forms uh, copied every time and then delete the fields from there so consider that scenario where i'm having 40 50 fields so i wish to rather than like hiding or showing the uh, visible property of these controls i'll just copy this form once again put it that into a container and bind that visible property of container so let's 
drop one container over there so i'll just go to insert and go to classic this time just to find out the container so i'll just use one uh, horizontal container and drop it here so because i dropped it inside one control so that's why it's asked it distorted but i'll just cut and replace into the expected area so i'll just cut this one and paste into my form directly so i'm just pasting it so my container is now my part of this form screen i'll just drag that to the entire screen and over here and now what i'll do i'll copy this entire sharepoint form from here or you can cut as well so you can cut and paste this entire stuff into my container so my container one has my sharepoint form one and now what i can do i can actually create the replica of everything and then paste it again into this form screen one where i'll have container two and then sharepoint form one one Sort of that so right now you can see like i got one underscore one and sharepoint form one one so it's a uh, i mean replication of the form again but it will give us a way to hide the container altogether based on the tab selection so that's why it, we are doing this so i'll just again recopy this third time and paste directly into my form screen one so now i got three set of forms with the same fields now I would actually just do a visible property of my uh, containers where first of all I will decide, in, I'll go to my tab list, I'll decide the default tab to be selected. So with the default uh, selected item, I'll just say key dot tab uh, key colon tab one. So this would be my default selected tab whenever this forms open. And now I'll just go to my this container one. I'll set the property of container one visible property that if my selected tab is tab one then only this container should be visible I'll just say selected or tab list one tab list one dot selected dot e equal to tab one then show this my container one and I'll just copy this formula so that I can paste this for the other containers visible property as well. I'll just go to visible of container two and we'll show this when the tab two is selected in the same way for container three. And the tab selection is tab 3 so now in each tab whenever I select a tab like it will show these contents now I can start removing the fields from this so that I can have only the selected fields which I wish to show in a particular tab so I'm into container 1 and I'll just start removing from the bottom so that I can know what I'm removing so I'll just try to have just three fields in this container one and you can select the container one that's called one and you open the SharePoint form so if you are confused I, by deleting the fields from the form you can simply do that via this option as well so I'll just remove these fields which are there into my container and I'll just uh, have I'll remove the three fields from the top which we already included in the tab one and product and then have these three, three fields into one underscore one and in the last one the final tab we are going to just keep the last three fields I'm going to delete the fields from the top and just keep the last three fields okay so now as we have structured our tabs, I'll just try to run it for a once just to look at 
that we have all the selected fields so in tab 1 we have these three tab 2 we have these three and tab 3 we have the other fields so all right so with the visible property we are done we are good whatever should be shown so now the catch comes where uh, we want to save the data back to SharePoint so as soon as this SharePoint form would be linked with this custom power apps form so it has to be submitted the data has to be submitted as these are SharePoint forms so you see an option of SharePoint integration where it does talk about the advanced property and in the advanced property we can see we have this new form edit form on view and submit so right now it's just submitting one form but as we have split this up into multiple SharePoint forms so we have to make sure the updates from these three forms should go into the SharePoint back so that's where we can actually start working we can actually uh, go to this advance and just start adding our formula over here so I'll just uh, what I'll do I'll just go to this on save from so that we can have a larger area to work and in this submit before submit what I'm going to do I'm going to patch the data from these three forms to the SharePoint record so I'm going to use the patch function and with this patch function I'm going to pass the data the source which is our SharePoint list is financial data and defaults would be to our financial data again because it's a new record and over here we have to pass on the SharePoint form one dot updates because we are going to pass the partial updates to it and the same way I'm going to do for the rest of the form the three splitted forms the updates and SharePoint form underscore one dot updates so by this we are going to patch the data with the updates whatever updates these individual forms is having and with the submit form option so though it is not going to submit the, the data back it's going to just write it once only but it will give me advance a uh, way to just I mean close the pop-up which pop-up is already there because we don't have any control of closing the pop-up so that's why let it be the submit form and after that we may want to reset all the forms so you can uh, simply use the reset form function and then pass on your forms reset forms and form one underscore one and again reset form and the third form okay so we are good I'm just going to save it and as well as over here in the other properties on new on added on view so you may I mean just make your other two forms into the uh, new mode as well so that it should not I mean one tab should not be showing the added mode and the other should be in display mode so you can just say new form the other SharePoint form and the new form for the form number three so that's how you can save it and now I am just going to publish it for the testing publish to SharePoint and we'll just wait for a few seconds so that our changes can be moved to our SharePoint site so I'm just going to our site and try to find out that list finance details and in new I am expecting our form is still not there so we have to just wait so now we can click on new so now we have our tab form power apps form embedded to SharePoint and we have these three tabs for showing different fields altogether so uh, let's start adding this field so I'll just say test segment and for rest I'll just put any dummy data and for tab 2 and unit source manufacturing price and tab 3 will just put something so that we can just able to validate that whether everything is saving or not so let's see 
and now I am just clicking on save my data is saved but it's a long list I have to filter uh, to find out the data which we recently saved so it's a test segment which I saved so let's filter that out and I could see like everything all the fields are having data so that means like we are able to patch the record perfectly fine and if I click on this item and I could see like uh, the other okay so the other fields are blank right now and the reason is like probably we have not done for the view if I just added this so I am expecting in the added I would be having all the data yes in the added I am having and in display why it's not showing so you can see like in the new form and in the edit form we did this added form we uh, added our additional forms over here but in the view form we did not it's just this SharePoint form one so that's why in view we are just seeing one uh, tab which is filled not the other ones so it's not the view so if I just open the item so right now because we already clicked at it that's why it has started populating but otherwise you have to have the view form for these three forms as well so you need to add view form sharepoint form one underscore one and the other one too so that it should seamlessly work for all the new edit and display forms point form yeah so now we can save it and you can have our this tabular structure form published again to SharePoint and with this easiest way of like uh, using this model tab control you can split your form better structure your form and with this container and uh, on submit on save you have to uh, do a bit of tweaking to save the data back to SharePoint for rest of the forms, if you are building those forms directly into any power apps rather than having SharePoint form, then you need not to take care about, uh, worried about this uh, SharePoint integration and then uh, doing this uh, on save operation. It will be just on button click. You have to just do this patching and patch should read the data from all these individual forms which are inside containers and should do a update for us. So that is it, the objective of this video and if it helps you out then please do drop your like and as well as your comments if you have questions so that's it thank you